welcome everyone to the first ever episode of The Axis Network. At this show, we will discuss what we are doing together to innovate for a smarter and safer world. I'm your host, Fredrik Nielsen, VP of the Americas. In each episode, we're going to have three segments. And the objects here behind me on the shelf are kind of giving you some cues and clues what we'll talk about. When it comes to innovation, the turn has come to talk about AI and analytics, which is a very hot topic in our industry, represented up here by our latest art pick chip. When it comes to a smarter, safer world, we're going to talk about sustainability, which is close to our heart here at Axis. And last but not least, we're going to travel the world and go all the way to the space capital of the United States, which is, of course, Houston, where we have a newly opened AEC, Axis Experience Center. So with that, let's welcome the first guest to talk about AI and analytics, Ryan Gregory, Director of Solutions and Services. Hey, Frederick, how are you? Welcome to the Axis Network Good Show. Good to see you. Thanks for Good having to see me. You. I appreciate it. So, a lot of exciting things when it comes yeah. to technology. Analytics and AI, what are the trends you're seeing? Yeah, yeah, big topic out there today. Pretty, pretty subjective, depending on who you ask. But in my opinion, you know, some of the, the top three we're probably seeing from our standpoint is, you know, the market demand and the expectations yep. of the end customers. That is being driven by the the technology and in general advancement that you're you're seeing with artificial intelligence, right? And we can come back to that. And then the third thing I would probably say is data consumption and, and data generation. How do you how do you use this data? What are you doing with it? And mm -hmm. ultimately, is it solving the problem of the the end customer? So if you start looking into those three things, there's one that kind of gets me excited to trying to explain, and, and that is AI, artificial yeah. intelligence. Yep. What is it, and how do we use it? Uh, besides being a big buzz buzzword in the industry, I think um, from an access standpoint, it really gets into you know, how are we leveraging our chipset technology being ARPEC, right? With with ARPEC 7, we kind of dipped our toes into the water with machine learning, with, with most of our product line today being ARPEC 8. That is really where we're seeing deep learning being being um, introduced across the product line. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is the the fact that the, the processing power and the capabilities of GPUs and system on chip design at the edge has progressed so much over the last five years. So it's enabling all different types of, of use cases. So, so that's AI, it's really deep learning that made the big things and being on the chip and great technology. We're talking to our partners here. Uh, why is this important to our partners and ultimately the end customers? Yeah, I, I think it's about the, the problem and the pain points that it's solving, right? If, you, if, you, if you're out there talking to customers as I am and really they're saying, I've got so much data, mm -hmm. we've got so many cameras. How many cameras are there in the world? Um, yeah, I think the latest statistics I've seen is something like there's over a billion security cameras out okay, there. Right? A lot. So how are you managing all that data and what are they actually doing for you? Mm -hmm. I think the days of having people sitting in, in you know security monitoring centers is probably declining depending on the industry. So we need to find solutions to make security and surveillance more proactive instead of reactive. Mm -hmm. That's really what our customers are asking us for. And I think if you if you wrap all this together, you see that analytics, deep learning, mm -hmm. and the awareness of customers being more exposed to artificial intelligence and how to use it and the use cases that it can maybe potentially solve, put the three of those things together. And I think that's some of the, the real, the trends and the growth and the demand that we're seeing for, for AI in general. And to conclude, from my perspective, I've been around this industry and Axis for a long time. I still remember the first camera with built-in analytics at the edge, the Axis 2120, yeah. year 2000. You see us video motion detection. You say we've really come a long way and the future is very exciting. Absolutely. Thank you for coming, Ryan. Thanks, Great Frederick. to have you. I appreciate you. it. And with that, let's move out in the world. Let's travel all the way to Houston and visit our business area director, Steve Stanbury, and see what they've done to bring the Axis experience there. Hi, Frederick. Welcome to the Axis Experience Center here in Houston, Texas. So what are we doing here to bring the experience to our customers? Uh, like many of the AECs, we are working with our technology integration partners and, of course, coupled with our Axis solutions to provide interactive displays. And, of course, you know Houston is known as Space City, so throughout this facility, we have a space theme. It's fun. It's interactive. Come visit.
Steve, as you're expanding the South Central business area, why did you choose Houston for the latest uh, location of an Access Experience Center? That's an easy one. Houston, as you know, is the fifth largest city in the United States with over 10 million people in the metro area. So what that means is there's a lot of different verticals here that our solutions can help solve problems. Okay. So today we have, I think, around 15 active access experience centers throughout the Americas. Uh, what are the latest innovation? What's, what's uh, new there in, in the experience centers in Houston? A lot, Frederick. We have, of course, audio, access control, to an intercom, analytics, of course, our core products and cameras, and our end-to-end -end solutions. All of these displays can work independently of each other or they can work interactively together, solving a complete solution for the customer. So uh, it's just being finalized here. What's on the schedule, Steve? Yeah, lots of events going on here already. Uh, we're already hosting meetings. We're having our academy courses here that cover, of course, NVF and certification courses, end-to-end -end audio, uh, as well as uh, soon to be to an intercom. Uh, other than that, we are having a lot of partner events here. We're, we're working with our integrator partners, we're working with our technology integration partners, and we're having events for their customers, showing their customers the latest in technology and, and solutions. Uh, other than that, we've got our, uh, our grand opening coming October 5th. We'd love to have you. Um, come and celebrate with us. Thank you, Steve Stanbury, and thank to your whole team in the South Central to show us what you're doing to bring the access experience to the Houston and the South Central market. With that, let's move into the next section and talk about sustainability. And with that, I am very excited to welcome our PR manager for the Americas, Christian Leris. Hey, Frederick. Hey, Chris. How welcome. are you? Welcome to our studio Thank here. You. Have a seat. Thank Have a you. Seat. So sustainability, big word. What does it really mean? Yeah, it's a great question. It's it's out there and uh, a lot of people wonder what is sustainability? They mm -hmm. think environment first, and that is absolutely a piece of it, but it's a lot more than just that. It's really about an ethical approach to things, an ethical approach towards business, an enduring approach to business. A sustainable approach. A sustainable approach. So what is Axis doing to trying to kind of take the lead and show the lead in this industry here when it comes to sustainability? Yeah, Axis is doing quite a bit and we've been a leader in sustainability for quite some time. I would say back in 2007 was really a landmark year and that was the year that we signed the UN Global Compact, which really focuses on sustainability, setting forth some guidelines and some principles. Yeah, yeah. very cool. So. Why is this important? We're broadcasting to our partners here. Why is this important to our partners and ultimately the end customers? Mm. It's really important to everyone, our, our partners, our customers, the public. Really, when we take a look at what we're doing as far as our products, mm. our operations, when we're making a positive impact socially, environmentally, economically, it really helps reduce risks throughout our value chain. Yeah. Yeah. And is there any specific examples when it comes to the technology, what we're doing today? Yeah, there's a lot of examples. Um, I would say one really big example is we just rolled out our very first product that uses bioplastics. Okay. Yeah, so bioplastics. And then from a practical standpoint, a lot of our products are sustainable themselves. So we look at things, for example, like our ArtPec chip, mm -hmm. which we just rolled out last year. The ArtPec chip, you, the ArtPec 8, uses 40% less energy to stream video than its predecessor. And in today's day and age with energy prices, that could be a big savings yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. So we're done here. We've done a lot of things. No, we can relax. not by any means. No, actually, we're constantly focused on sustainability and building off of the past. And I would say that uh, when I take a look at, uh, for example, the camera with bioplastics, mm. we also had set forth a goal to reduce PVC in all of our products. So we met that goal, which was 90%, but as far as not being done, we're actually aiming to be 100%, no PVC in any access product by the year 2025. So a lot of things have been accomplished and a lot of more things to do. So yeah, that's great. for sure. Thanks for joining us. You're it's welcome. To have Thank you. you, Frederick. Thank you. And that concludes the first episode of the Access Network, where we talked about sustainability, we talked about AI and analytics, and we went to Houston. As we continue our journey of innovating for a smarter, safer world, we're going to cover some other topics in the next episode. We're going to go on the road and get the Access experience on the road. With that, thank you for watching the Access Network. 
See you soon.